what's up guys back at it again here in january oh there goes my shop cat here in january here again and it's raining so let's just hurry up and get up inside and explain to you what we're doing today so you guys remember the utopia of an interior i had well it's gone ever since we actually started installing the shifter and stuff like that so we're gonna try and bring it back to its original glory i'll put a picture up on the screen right here so let's hop right into it so you guys can see from the title of this video we are going to be tackling the center console so as you see we added this very 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 nice ebay chinese shifter i don't even know what brand it is i just know it was very cheap and very pretty <laughs> that's really all i can say about this so you can see we actually decided to keep these shifter cables up in here you know just for aesthetic purposes honestly it's actually very cool to see the inner workings of like how these sh shifter cable shifters work so we're going to almost cover it up but not really we're going to try and like save it's all glory probably like up to here because this is a nice show piece in itself maybe on later i will get powder coated a different color but we'll see so the goal is to actually hide the rest of this ugliness because this isn't really you know visually pretty so in january you guys usually know this is not really the time to be outside as you can see so usually around the winter time i usually take time to actually design all of the pro projects that i have for this car and this is going to be one of them so we're going to be making a two-piece center console and maybe like this back half is going to have a little storage area you know since i don't really have a glove box and this dash is going away guys i actually bought a new dash and we're going to do something special to it ideas for the two piece on the console this back half is going to actually house a mini touch panel basically so i can get all the switches off of these plastic pieces because these are no longer going to be in here and then maybe take a couple of the switches off the wall over here maybe even the starter just try and clean up the dashboard let's try and keep it bare because the ideas that i have for the dashboard is actually pretty pretty extravagant so over here in this area it's probably we're probably gonna house like a little mini screen something smaller than this but it's probably going to like angle kind of up and over at me just so when i'm sitting in the race position this is actually easy to you know press all my buttons so that's definitely an interesting idea and probably for the front half we're probably just going to probably mimic what exactly what we have here let's just throw this on real quick all right so it's back on here so yeah i guess we're going to kind of mimic what we have here because this does house the radio that i have if you guys remember in the video i have one of these you know kind of i like to call it like a james bond radio where it's like the screen comes out and flips up and whatnot so that's actually pretty cool because the goal is actually have a screen 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 you know i just want a bunch of screens around me just to give us like a futuristic james bond kind of look all right so we're just gonna hop right into it. we're just gonna take a couple measurements and see how far we get from there well it's gonna be two piece one piece i also have to purchase the little nice screen that we're going to use to take measurements of that but yeah let's just go ahead and get started all right so i'll take the time to measure this if you guys are looking for a nice warm hoodie for this winter season i was gonna say holiday season holiday time is over but it's winter season this unsystematic hoodie is just super warm and you can see it's very very crappy outside but i'm completely warm in this amazing hoodie so so if you want one head on over to unsystematic.co to get yourself a nice warm hoodie this winter season All right. 
right, we have our basic measurements of our center console area here and kind of where the shifter and everything will line up. So it's just the worst outside right now. So let's go ahead and run inside and, and get these measurements on Rhino. All right, guys, back here again, back in our fantasy world and Rhinoceros 5. Like I said, a lot of people use Autodesk Fusion 360, but I prefer Rhino. So today we're going to be zooming in into this interior. We're just going to grab a bunch of pieces in here and move it to another, I guess, save file. Because you can see it is kind of glitchy. The more stuff I add to the software, well, to this uh, save file, the more glitchy it gets. So let's go ahead and grab what we need, like definitely this and maybe this. Maybe a couple seats. Yeah, I'll figure out what we need. So let's just grab those and move over. Alright guys, so you can see we grabbed a bunch of things. Probably more things than we needed, but definitely the more things the better. Try and make this thing as accurate. And you can see the software is not glitchy anymore. So, you can see, let me just um, turn off the center console here. These are all the parts I actually grabbed off of the... I guess Thingiverse and the software called no um, website called GrabCat. So the goal is to actually remove all of our switches and stuff off of the dashboard because the dashboard is going to become a nice carbon fiber entity that's going to tie everything together. So so in doing that, I actually decided to grab every single thing that we needed offline. These are things other people designed. So basically, you can see our buttons for our window switches and plug-in points car charger whatnot usbs this was the closest shifter i found to basically being mines um yeah i'm just gonna go with it you can see we got i made this little radio placeholder here and this is the touchpad button switch that i actually want i found this off of amazon and i got the dimensions and i actually designed it here so can't wait for that to come you guys will see that soon and then this is our aem switch actually not the same switch but close to it and you know with that aem switch we're going to use it to switch to our speed modes and whatnot and this is a usb hub so this usb hub is actually gonna be like a little like i guess make our life easier because the ECU is going to be mounted over here on the dashboard and I guess if you're tuning it's gonna be annoying like let's say I'm trying to make my mind and my tuning life easier so basically by bringing an ECU USB here to plug in for here you know as you're sitting in this seat you know it would actually be easier you have your laptop you do your dyno pulls and whatnot I also want a PDM so that's gonna use another USB and then you of course you guys know that my car is also powered by Windows 11 so I'm actually gonna have another USB for that the fourth USB is actually just a placeholder it actually looks better with four USBs you'll see what I mean later but um, yeah I'll probably just use that for like a charger or something we'll see all right, so you can see this is the stock center console we brought in here. Got enough pieces to actually make everything accurate. The shifter, like I said, it is a beautiful Chinese piece. Don't even ask me where it comes from. I don't even know, but I know it's for a Honda. It's definitely not from my car. It has really, really, really nice exposed shifter cables, and we're going to use that to actually enhance the design of my car. So. It's exposed on this side and not on this side. So the goal to making our center console, we're going to make a nice one piece center console, kind of blocked off on this side, but a little bit, you know, give you a little access if you're sitting on the passenger side to roll your window up and down via this switch. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll just show you what I have here. Everything's already designed. Let's just turn all this off. So, you can see it's going to be a one piece thing we have our a nice flat panel for our uh 10 button touchpad which also that touchpad is actually buried bench i can't wait to get it to show you guys the features 
you can see everything it's like a little nice little cubby here you see we left this side of the shifter exposed and you can see we actually brought our center console up actually on top of the shifter um you guys know what the shifter looks like um it actually curves down more and then up this is the closest i can find and i don't feel like redesigning a whole nother shifter so it's actually going to our center console is going to overhang over the shifter and then leave you know a couple key components out moving towards the front our radio is going to sit on top and again it's like some kind of like flip out radio i like to call it the james bond radio because with all the screens i have in the car it's gonna look really really futuristic and cool so i actually moved that in the center with the previous center console you can't really see it let me just move it there's actually like a spot here and a spot here so because this spot up here was too high it was actually smacking into the dashboard so now that i'm actually making my own center console i can remove all of that and make sure it's gonna you know work nicely so you can see from the passenger side view let's go ahead and just get that view in there this is what the passenger side would see so you can see it's not that hard to reach your button if they need to change the radio and whatnot they can actually access this um this is all going to be carbon fiber guys so can you just imagine this nice long wall of just carbon that will eventually mold into my carbon dash sneak peek on that obviously and then on this side let's see what the driver side is seeing this is what you'll see on the driver side this is like the view of everything so your little cubby here your I think it's a 10 position switch change out your tunes real quick on the fly you know what I mean yeah it could go over here it's not that important to be very close to me but it's all right it's all right uh, let's go ahead and move this up so you guys can understand like this this touch panel here is very very cool and I can't wait to get it but this is more or less the look we're going to grab everything and just you know use it basically we're gonna have to find a way to mount all of this but i believe i'm just going to make an aluminum plate and then have this giant piece of carbon greatness attached to it via a couple tabs to make it strong this is actually going to be a separate piece and you can see on the driver's side it's actually flat so because it's flat i can reach everything i can see everything this is actually a voltmeter um via usb i guess i'll show you guys that in the car but they didn't have a, a little screen here so that's why i'm actually keeping this and keeping this charger here so there's multiple forms of chargers and if i need to use anything with a car charger port it's always good to have one so i don't want to hinder myself with that by not putting it these two buttons on the side make everything look symmetrical and ties everything very very nicely and yeah this is basically the design swooping innovative carbon greatness honestly i can't wait to see this in full carbon it's gonna look just amazing so um yeah i guess let's hop out back to the car and show you guys give you guys basic measurements and explain what we're going to do in our next video because it's gonna be a lot of 3d printing and i can tell it's gonna make this video super long so all right guys looks like the same day but no it's definitely like a week later and we've got our 10 button touch membrane control thing so i'm just gonna just open it up for you guys let's get in this car and see how it looks all right so i haven't opened this box yet so this is gonna be my reaction first time okay I got this on Amazon didn't cost too much probably like 100 bucks I guess but yeah I get this so like off rip you can see this is the main controller look what is this oh wow I have a whole bunch of labels <laughs> I don't even know what to call it a whole bunch of labels for our buttons and damn look at this thing damn this thing looks nice 
Feels really nice too to press. Nice and tactile feel. So this is going to go like this. If you can picture it. But damn. I can reach all of this. I can reach all of this. Yeah, this this is not gonna be uncomfortable. This is gonna be really nice. It's gonna be like angled, kinda like this. And then the dash is gonna swoop back in and into the dashboard. I mean the center console, actually, sorry. And this is nice, man. This is gonna be nice. And you can see our trim position for AM. That's gonna be like right here. Right in front of this thing. And then along with our extra USBs, so while we're sitting here, we can actually use our laptop. We don't have to reach under there, or under the dashboard or wherever, wherever I decide to put the ECU. It's going to be amazing. I'm really liking this. This is going to be really cool. This is going to be really, really cool. Sheesh. You can see the best part about this thing is that we have this black box here. And this is going to go either over here or up in the dashboard or whatever. And it just uses a USB cable that goes to, to the back of this. So this is the only connection that you need. And you see this is all like 3M tape, double-sided tape here. So this is going to be amazing. Literally, only it's, it's not going to be a lot of wires coming into the center console section over here. Because all of it would be conjunctioned over here in this thing. So that's pretty cool. Let's see, we got our labels. We got a bunch of them. So, and if anything, it's not if it's not anything that we need, we can actually make more, like make our own. So these aren't too hard. But that is cool. So that's basically everything that's in the box. Let's see our USB cable and our power and our screws here. And yeah, so these are the two magical things here. So this is cool. This is really cool. All right, guys. Well, in the next video you see about the center console, we are going to be actually mocking up our 3D printed dashboard because that's the next step. I can't wait to get started printing this thing. This is going to be amazing. That way we'll be able to mock up everything. And then I'll get to take an accurate measurement of this so I can adjust that in the model to make sure everything fits this is going to be amazing guys cannot wait so don't forget to head on over to unsystematic.co get all your unsystematic needs situated don't forget to comment rate and subscribe never forget never stop modifying